More like gather information. And if you're offering, I can pay you. Harn usually holds court at the Outlaw's Refuge. He'll be the only one there with bodyguards. Ask him if Rhaenyla Treveri's been through recently. Got it? Fair warning. Harn might ask you for a favor in return for information. I can pay you back, but you don't get paid until I get paid, and I don't get paid until I find Rhaenyla. Make sure you get something good. I'll find you after you're done. Well, make it quick, before more of those mercenaries decide to show up. I just can't figure out where I slipped up. Rhaenyla shouldn't know I was after her. My catches never knew. He's one of Necrom's only crime lords, big fish in a small pond, and he knows everybody, so I am certain he knows Rhaenyla. I've worked for him before. We're not on bad terms, but I wouldn't go to him if I had any other choice. He's chatty. Too friendly for my taste. Lures people in just so he can get them under his thumb and in his debt. Last time we did business, we didn't see eye to eye on something. Let's leave it at that. What? My story? I tell you to make it quick, and that's what you decide to ask me. Try again, or get moving. Targets. Bounties. Got fishing on the mind, I suppose. I was planning a trip when I got put on this job. High priority, and the pay was nothing I could pass up. Lucky for the fish. I'm a mercenary. Bounty hunter, assassin, whatever gets me paid. Rainilla stole something. Was told I'd know it when I saw it. Research notes to try and gain favor with some rival Telvani magister, maybe. Tale as old as time in these parts. I think so. I don't know. I was handed the job by my job broker. He let slip that Rhaenyla used to work for the client, but I didn't stick around to hear much else. It is a time-sensitive job, and I was told to stop Rhaenyla at any cost. Thought it'd be better to get on her trail sooner rather than later. I don't need to know all the fancy details and motivations. I just need to know enough to get paid. And listen, don't mention me to Harn. It probably won't do you any favors. Gods are 
powerful. <laughs> again and without that good for nothing lazy randerson toe oh, i told you before i don't have any time to waste on nonsense today well enough to go fishing but too sick to work a likely story oh, i should drop everything and go catch him in his lie then i'd have a reason to dismiss him and hire a competent assistant First you shout plague, then I hear that several of the dock workers who unloaded the Stormwing took ill. Now Randus. All right, go investigate the Stormwing. If you find anything incriminating, I want to hear about it. What's going on with the Stormwing? Nobody wants to go near that ship. Good question. I hear it's full of skeevers that arrived with a prelate from the temple. Interesting. No one's gone near it since the temple priests disembarked. Not even a rat. Probably cultists of some sort. That's my guess, anyway. You don't think the ship is haunted? Haunted and cursed. Until we know what's going on, I'm giving that ship a wide berth.
going on with the storm Nobody wants to go near that shit. Good question. I hear it's full of skeevers that arrived with a prelate from the temple. Interesting. No one's gone near it since the temple priests disembarked. back. If I have to turn away one more family. Did you learn anything at the Stormwing about a sickness or a plague? And did the temple really send Prelate Forum to the necropolis? An imposter? Let me see what you found. I knew there was something wrong the moment I saw the Prelate. Oh, I suppose I should call him Blight Crown. What kind of name is that? And what does a devotee of Pariite want in the necropolis? All sorts of relics and heirlooms are stored in the catacombs with the ancestors. And with Periite cultists loose inside, Abbot Ilvel and the Keepers are in terrible danger. We need to get into the necropolis. But how? The main door is locked. I don't. Wait! When I wanted to slip out after curfew, I used the cellar that connects to the city's underways. I doubt Blight Crown or his attendants know about it. Meet me in the tunnel behind the necropolis. I think I can get us inside from there. The entrance to the underways is on the west side of the necropolis. You'll find the cellar door in an alcove on your right. I'll post a notice about the closure and join you there. We can't let Periite's cult rummage through the catacombs. Not a terrible lot. I'm not an expert on Daedric studies or anything. I know he's the Daedric Prince of Pestilence, the Blighted Lord, the Master of Tasks. Some believe he isn't a very important prince, but people get sick all the time. People worship all sorts of things. Periite's followers see disease as a blessing. They revel in suffering and spreading plagues. Blight Crown's attendants have pox scars. I should have suspected something when I first met them. I was orphaned at a young age. No other family. Abbot Ilvel took me in and raised me. He... He's the father I never had. A kind and devout servant of the Necropolis. But maybe too trusting. It never occurred to him to question Blight Crown's story. I only have Blight Crown's word about that. I'm not even sure if the Abbot and the Keepers are really sick. When I returned, the place was already locked tight and I was ordered to stay at the door and turn pilgrims away. As Prelate Forum, Blight Crown has the authority of the temple. The Necrom Guard would never make a move against a temple prelate or the orders of the abbot. No, we need to get inside and find the abbot ourselves before it's too late. You did? Prelate Forum, I mean, Blight Crown, spoke privately with Abbot Ilvel when he first arrived. His attendants didn't speak at all. I wonder what the Apocrypha? By the ancestors, what does our necropolis have to do with Daedric princes and oblivion realms? Still, there are all sorts of treasures in the catacombs. I'm not sure if the keepers even have a complete record of everything down there. I'll meet you in the underways.
forever again. The grave singer delivers the final song. See here? Tales of Ditato, the bountiful spirit, are carved into the wood. Over here, friend. A rarely used trapdoor. You go first. No one around, just as I hoped. The chapel is through the doorway and up the stairs. To the right, friend. The door to the chapel is at the end of the hall. We should head for the chapel. We should head for the chapel. Head for the chapel. We should head for the chapel. is never locked. Can you pick it? If not, Curate Zankon leaves his key on a shelf to the northwest.
those sensors. Whatever they're emitting reeks. Destroy the sensors. They're sickening these keepers. No! I know nothing of Prior Durdrin's tomb! Leave me be! They ask so many questions. Please, help the others. Dane, Abbot Ilvel is in danger. Prelate Farum put one of those foul sensors in his chamber. I... I don't know anything about a fulcrum. Please! That's all of them. Let's go check on Abbot Ilvel. Light Crown is with the Abbot. His chambers are to the north when we're done here. The Abbot, destroy that foul sensor, friend. Stop! Uh, Fulcrum Obscura. Um, Durdrin's tomb. In the lower catacombs. Poor Abbot Ilvel. He's delirious. What did he say about the lower catacombs? How insidious. Blightcrown made the Keepers of the Dead sick so he could question them in their fevered state. And also he could find some old relic hidden in the necropolis? Why go- Hermaeus Mora? The Keepers of the Dead have nothing to do with the Lord of Secrets. And I never heard of anything called the Fulcrum Obscura. Wait. How do you know all this? Are you a cultist too? Endangers Nern? I'm just a minor curate working in the necropolis. Feuds between Daedric Princes are beyond me. Still, I want to help. Finding anything in the catacombs will take time. We might be able to catch up with Blightcrown if we hurry.
Hmm. Prior Durdrin founded the Necropolis and our order. Abbot Ilvel idolized him. Told me the Prior was obsessed with Necrom's history, and had received a special charge from Lord Vivek. There's a key to the catacombs in the desk. Hurry, friend. Take the key from the desk and head to the catacombs. The door is through the chapel and to the north. I'll stay with Abbot Ilvel. Do what I can until he recovers. Just be careful. We know Blightcrown didn't arrive at the Necropolis by himself. Prior Durdrin established the Keepers of the Dead as a religious order and built this abbey over the ancient Necropolis. He lived and died here centuries ago. Hmm. I don't remember that coming up in any of the abbot's lectures. But Prior Durdrin possessed many talents. Legend has it he could command powerful Daedra and resist their lures. And he was given some sort of charge by Lord Vivek personally. I only visited it once, with Abbot Ilvel when I was very young. It's somewhere in the lower catacombs, at the very deepest point in the necropolis. Remember, Blightcrown brought the hidden kindred with him. You might have to fight to get there. The ancestors watch over us. I have faith that in moments of need, my prayers will be answered. Although it certainly helps that the sensors were destroyed and that foul miasma is dissipating. I'll do what I can while you deal with the imposter. Since the founding of Morrowind, Dark Elves have interred their dead in necropolises. Necrom is one of the oldest, maybe the oldest. Here, our people can visit their revered ancestors, seek their guidance, remind them they haven't been forgotten. It depends what you mean by relic. Many families choose to honor their dead by entombing them with trophies or keepsakes. Some of those might be valuable, or dangerous, but no Dark Elf would think of stealing from their ancestors. The door to the catacombs is through the chapel and to the north. Prior Durdrin's tomb is deep inside.
Sarah. Wait. Someone approaches Dovasard. Quick, take the relic. The relic broke. Still, this portion contains the power we need. I leave our guests to you, Blightcrap. The time to hide is over. Behold, Blightcrown, most favored priest of Periites. I leave you with a blessing from the Prince of Pestilence. You're back. Look, Abbot Ilvel is awake and feeling much better. Is this the one, Gudain? You saved many lives, friend. Come, talk with me. Young Gudain told me of your mission for the Prince of Fate. A strange and perilous ally. But I thank you for saving the Necropolis. We owe you our lives. What happened in the catacombs? Did you find the imposter who called himself Prelate Farum? Interesting. I know Prior Durdrin cavorted with Daedra, but there was no mention of Periite in any of the Chronicles. At least I see that you recovered the rest of the relic. I have no idea what they think it can do, or if it even still functions. Oh, hold on to it, of course. Gadain said that fate led you to us. I can only assume it was because of the Fulcrum Obscura. It must have a role in whatever trials you must face to save Nern. Yes, my young charge told me everything. He does that. Just this. I am in no condition to help you recover the relic. None of the Keepers are. Well, none except Gadain. I will send our young curate with you. Search out these villains, put a stop to their scheme, and recover the Gadain, go with this adventurer. Retrieve the stolen piece of Fulcrum Obscura. You need to see more of the world anyway. Go? But... Yes, Abbot. I'll do it. Friend, a word please? I never traveled far from Necrom. Barely left the Telvanni Peninsula. And that was just one trip to Mournhold with Abbot Ilvel. The Abbot has given me a mission, though, and I mean to complete it. Just tell me what to do, and I'll follow your lead. The Necrom Bindery? I thought that place was abandoned. Of course I'll meet you there. Oh, 
And the abbot authorized me to give you this, for exposing Blightcrown and saving the necropolis. They got away with part of the relic, but we'll get it back. Your work here is done, Proxy. Still we... Hmm. That dark elf also bears the mark of fate. I shall speak with you momentarily, Kirit. One more thread of fate to investigate, Proxy. Take this portal and see where it leads. I studied the threads of fate, and this location is resolved, Proxy. You stopped the agent of Periite from destroying the necropolis, and recovered part of a relic we will need to complete our quest. That the enemy also has a part could not be helped. A reasonable and prudent request. I shall provide what details I can, but I know little more than you do. Local history and politics are not my usual area of study. Which location would you like to know more about? Tel Rendis is one of the many mushroom towers that dot this land. They usually serve as domiciles of Telvani wizards who wield formidable magic. But this tower is abandoned. Interesting. Fate dictates that when you go there, I shall accompany you. Come, Proxy. Fate dictates that I join you at this location. Come, Proxy. Fate dictates that I join you at this location. The threads of fate draw both of us to this place, Proxy. Telrendis, once the home of a powerful Telvani magister named Meln the Mouthless, but now abandoned. From what I could ascertain, no one knows what happened to the wizard of this tower. That has yet to be determined. One of the strands of fate revealed to me converges at this location. More than that, Hermaeus Mora expects us to learn for ourselves. Of the three sites, this one requires that I be on hand to assist you. I never said it was more important. Just that fate requires both of us here. More than that, we shall need to determine. I do sense a lingering presence. A connection to Apocrypha. 
Help me investigate this place and Hermaeus Mora will reward you. I wish to survey the tower and its grounds. The threads of fate hang over this place like cobwebs of possibility and consequence. Let us explore the center of the compound and see where those threads take us. The Telvani are one of the great Dunma houses. They focus on magic and the arcane arts, and they consider power, ruthlessness, and ambition to be paramount. We must be careful in our dealings with them, for they are nothing if not dangerous. Yes, but I could not learn much. Just that he owns this tower, but has not been seen in some time. The place is considered abandoned. He was a Telvani Magister, the highest rank in the house, second only to the Arch Magister. Telvani Masters and Magisters avoid undue socializing, fearing threats from all directions. So they appoint agents to represent them. Mouths. Mel eschewed the practice, hence they called him Mouthless. I expect his tower to be a fortress.